Alright, today we're gonna play around more with my Atari 800 XL. And this time we're gonna play E.T. Phone Home. Now for many years, I thought the original E.T. on the Atari was the only E.T. game of that time frame, until very recently I found out about this one. So yeah, this is actually a completely different game than the Atari 2600 version. Now I have not ever really played this, so please, please go easy on me. <laughs> I don't know how to play this. But uh, yeah, I guess that's E.T. and he's holding a little flower in his hand. So let's see how this is and how it compares to the 2600 version. Alright, let's start. Okay. Do I get to choose options here? No. I guess I start out as Elliot walking around. These cars are kind of parked in the middle of the street. What am I doing? This is like suburbia central. Alright, this is kind of interesting. My controller's squeaky. Do I pick this up? Is that how that works? But I didn't pick it up. Uh, okay. Actually, when I have E.T., it, uh, when I go to that screen, it drains his energy more. So what's over here? Can I pick it up? What if I hit enter on the keyboard? Return. Whoa, holy crap, that guy's like freaking out. Go away, bro. No! Is this supposed to be another piece? I don't want to kill E.T., though. His health meter keeps dying. Hmm, this reminds me of that time I was playing Eco and like half the world disappeared. I don't know why I thought about that. It's like that server that just totally got destroyed after meteorite hit. And this looks exactly like that. You're just floating in space and there's like ground everywhere. It's like totally like that. Anyway, I don't know what that dude's doing over there on the end of the map, just freaking out. I can't even get to him. Not that I would want to, but holy crap, he's coming after me. Is this a checkerboard? Like, am I going to be playing chess over here? What the hell am I doing in this game? <laughs> I have no clue what I'm doing here. <laughs> no! No, go away! No, no, no! Did he steal my stuff? He totally stole my stuff. Hey, at least I'm not falling into the pits, right? I'm just randomly, aimlessly wandering this world. Like, trying to pick stuff up. I have no idea what's going on here. Oh, oh, oh! I don't even know- oh wait, it's something over there, okay. I guess I'm supposed to follow these markers, maybe? It's supposed to lead me to, like, his spaceship? Maybe that's what these are for? I can't pick them up? Alright, wandering through caves. Oh, what's this? Is this a pickaxe? Okay. Maybe eventually I understand what's going on here? <laughs> I seem to be going the right way. All these things keep, like, lighting up. E.T.'s gonna die soon. I better speed it up. Look at that awesome feed action. Doesn't that remind you of Berserk? So cheesy. Gotta love these early 80s, like, walk cycle action. So broken. I guess because there wasn't enough RAM to do a full walk cycle. Alright. Let's see. What's over here? Oh, the, ch the chess board is down there. Let's go there. So they're just basically sending me off on this, like, random, like, chase to try to find stuff. I can't even, like, I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> no! No! I'm, like, trapped in this hole! They won't let me out! What a jerk. I can't leave! Wait, did he take all my stuff? He's gonna take everything I've worked so hard to get. Whoa, I'm like in the end of space over here. What the heck is going on? <laughs> Can I just keep walking all the way down in this space? Nope. I'm go to the bottom. This ho giant house is in my way. You know, actually, this is not like his model isn't to scale. Like, he's literally half the size of this house. He's super tall. Elliot is enormous. 
Look at me jog at the bottom of the screen. Just look at me going for a jog with some palm trees. I don't remember palm trees being in the movie. Okay. Am I back at the beginning, really? How the hell do you play this? <laughs> I have no idea. Hmm, I think it's time for the interwebs. I will look this up and I will come back. <laughs> Okay, so I went ahead and I looked up on the internet a little bit more information on how to play this. And you gotta love the internet, because this game is like like 40 years old, and I was able to actually look at like the full colored manual on like how to play this. So apparently, I found out a few things, so let's try to get started again here. Hit start. Right, okay, let's go. So, apparently there are a few things that you have to do. I probably should have looked this up the first time around. Uh, but when you pick up an item, you have to press both buttons on the controller. Not just one, you go to that screen. These palm trees are really tall. So you pick it up, and apparently you have to collect a certain amount of items. It doesn't tell you what exactly. For each level it changes. I guess I'm on easy level, uh... Easy, like, level one. Woo! Go away, bro. But I think you can only pick up one at a time. One item at a time, I think. But you pick up one, you, I think you collect them. But the other interesting thing... Holy shit, they're after me. The other interesting thing about this... Ugh, stop! Is you press the space button and you pause the game. That's pretty innovative for, like, 1983, right? Then you just press it again, and you're good. But I can't seem to pick this up. Oh, okay, so I did pick it up. Alright. I don't know. See, I can see that little box thing. It's really tiny and hard to see, but it looks like I'm carrying something now. Yeah, don't ask me how to, like, actually put together the phone. I guess you get a bunch of different pieces, and then you build the phone, but the instruction manual because they had instruction manuals back then. It's not very helpful. <laughs> it's just they collect a bunch of crap. You leave the board behind. But it didn't say where to go. Wait a second, what's this? I can go in here. I haven't been able to figure out how to go inside the doors and stuff. It's like, how do I do this? There's no button on the keyboard. I pressed like all the buttons on the keyboard. This dude's like waiting for me. He's like, you gonna go in that door, bro? You gonna go in that door? What the, on this screen, what do you do with E.T.? I mean, I know there's a way you can beat the original E.T. because one of my good friends can actually do it, and they've actually done it in under a minute before, and it was pretty impressive. So, I know that's possible. Uh, but I honestly think that the 2600 version of this game is probably easier. <laughs> I can't beat it, but they can, so... Oh yeah, that's the other thing too. If I hold down the button, I can fly all over the place. Go super fast. Look how fast that feed action is. So yeah, I don't really know how to play this. <laughs> and the manual from like 40 years ago doesn't have too much information other than collecting random crap, and it doesn't tell you what specifically for the difficulty level. But yeah, this is ET Phone Home for the Atari 800XL, and it's pretty bad. <laughs> a little bit not intuitive, but I guess a lot of games back in those days kind of not intuitive. Look at this, I'm just running in a complete circle, and then the health bar refreshes. I guess it, like, maybe it's because, uh, let's pick this up and then do that again. Okay. Hmm. I was gonna go to the selection screen. I guess it counted it, maybe? I don't know. It's, oop, it looks like there's an item up there. Why did I drop it? <laughs> Alright. There's 
something up here. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna pick this up. Okay, he's gonna die. When I go that screen, he dies. Here's your snake, E.T. Snake. Let's we'll see what happens when he dies. I have like one flower left. He's gonna die. Watch him die. Die! <laughs> okay, there we go. But it doesn't count it as being picked up. I don't get it. It's like nuclear, like, neon snake or something. This is so weird. Alright. E.T.'s gonna die. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> I want to go up here, but I don't know how to go in the door. Maybe it's because that guy was watching me earlier. Maybe I can go in there now. I just can't have them be around, maybe. This is like the tunnel to my house. Nope. E.T.'s gonna die. Oh, it fills up the bar. Okay. What's over here? Can I keep going over here? Oh, snap. That guy is like blocked in that area. Creepy dude. Don't take my stuff. They're like over here, like hanging out in the woods. Just randomly. Ugh. Gotta hide. Yeah, this does not have any instructions. Apparently there's a help key like on the actual uh, Atari 800XL keyboard thing. And then I press that, it does nothing. <laughs> so yeah, good. Thank you, Atari, for giving me a help key that doesn't work on this game. I definitely have to say this version is more entertaining. I mean, I feel like there's more to, like, do and you don't fall in holes all the time. <laughs> it's down here. If I could ride in these cars, that'd be awesome. And just ride around here and like run over trees. E.T. driving the car. Where are these supposed to be? Are these like... Ugh. It's like this pixel like block things. Oh, E.T. is dead. <laughs> Looks like I didn't get anything. It says unused energy, zero. Foam pieces, zero. Total score, zero. And high score zero. I suck at this game. <laughs> Alright. Uh, maybe sometime I'll figure out how to play it and I'll do another video. <laughs> but yeah, so this is E.T. Phone Home. It's very different than the Atari 2600 version. I didn't know this actually existed until maybe the last couple of months. Um, yeah, but yeah, uh, next time I'll probably play some more games on my Atari 800XL. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.